On today's episode, the Model T Ford revolutionized the automotive industry. Ford is trying to do it again. Today's episode is brought to you by Engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on Engineering.com TV today. In the automotive industry, everything these days is about electric vehicles, of course, but there's relatively little attention paid to the way that the vehicles are assembled. Giga casting generated some excitement at Tesla, but promises about Star Wars-like automation in the process never materialize. If you're in manufacturing, however, there are some very interesting developments and Ford Motor Company has just announced a major program. Called the Ford Universal EV Production System, it represents a $5 billion investment between the firm's venerable Louisville assembly operation and the new Blue Oval Battery Park in Michigan to produce a new mid-size pickup and the prismatic LFP batteries that will power it. The product goal is ambitious, a mid-sized four-door electric pickup with a starting MSRP of $30,000. But the more significant part of the announcement may be the way the vehicles will be assembled. The vehicle platform will be modular, which is standard practice for electric vehicle production today, but the traditional linear assembly line will be replaced by a more decentralized branched line structure, where major sub-assemblies will be built around a large format die-cast aluminum front and rear clip and a structural battery carrying center section. Major sub-assemblies will be mated near the end of the line, with the front and rear clip joining a vehicle center section which is already trimmed with seats, consoles, and carpeting. Smaller parts and sub-assemblies will be kitted, and the kits will include power tools and scanning devices. The system is flexible and is designed to reduce twisting, reaching, and bending for workers on the line. Electric vehicles have always offered the potential for part count reduction and system simplification, and Ford claims that the new platform will have 20% fewer parts than industry standard, with 25% fewer fasteners, 40% fewer workstations in the plant, and a 15% faster overall assembly time. Compared to Ford's first generation electric vehicles, the wiring harness itself will be 4,000 feet shorter and 10 kilos lighter. Ford is comparing this project to the company's original Model T, which most historians regard as the true birth of moving assembly line mass production. If it works and can be adapted to other assembly operations, the result could be profitable, affordably priced vehicles that are domestically manufactured. Production is scheduled to begin in 2027. But will anyone notice? It's hard to say, but the automotive industry is notoriously product-focused rather than process-focused, and the stock markets appear to have barely reacted to the announcement, despite the potential for significantly improved volume and profitability. Wall Street may not be paying attention, but we are, and we'll check in periodically to see how Ford's better idea progresses. Well, that's it for today's episode of End of the Line, brought to you by Engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit Engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, Designing the Future, and the Engineering Roundtable, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.